started with today's episode, I just want to stop and say a huge thank you um, for the support and the encouragement. Almost 500 views on YouTube in like two days and um, almost 50 followers. Like I had no idea just one episode of Cone Bread would get me that. So I have to say thank you for the encouragement and the support. It's heartfelt and appreciated. Um, your girl got a sponsor, honey. This episode is sponsored by Triangle Turkey Barbecue, right? So when you're done with that pork and it just won't do, get you some triangle turkey barbecue. That's not that theme song, but I made that up. Thank you, Smack. And let's so, let's show some love to Howard Clark, also known as Smack. Um, just so show some appreciation to our men who cook. And yes, ladies, there are men out there who cook. I'm just finding that out. Um, so let me get started. Let me wash my hands first. So we're gonna make today soul food egg rolls. So I'm going to wash my hands, and you know I done made that hot dish water over here on the other side of the sink. Because my mama said you can't start cooking, you don't have that hot dish water. Um, and here's the process for soul food egg rolls, right? I know I said that cornbread would change your life. Mm -mm. These egg rolls right here going to change your whole entire life. Um, I know my hair probably looks like a mini afro. My friends are trying to talk me into like being natural. I don't really know how long I'll be able to stay with that. My edges are so disrespectful. Um, and this mini afro, we're just going to roll with it today, okay? So I don't need feedback on the hair. We're going to talk about the food. So for your egg rolls, this is what you'll need. You'll need a pack of egg roll wrappers. You can find them in grocery stores in the produce section, like over by the lettuce and stuff. Not wonton wrappers, egg roll wrappers. Um, and then also, you'll need barbecue, preferably triangle turkey barbecue. It is smoked turkey barbecue, and it is amazingly delicious. And so we're going to include Smack's information. You can order it, and he will ship it. Um, and I think he also does like some delivery and pickup if you're in the triangle area. So remember that if you want to use pork barbecue, knock yourself slam out, chicken barbecue, whatever. You just need a barbecue of some sort. Um, and then I use braised collards. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how to make braised collards. You just don't want collards that are watery or water-based. Um, I know some people like boil their collards. There's different ways to make collards. So let me share with you how to make braised collards. So what I've done is I cut up my collards and I put them in a hot pan. A little olive oil at the bottom. I keep adding olive oil as needed. And kosher salt. So it kind of looks almost like you're frying the collars, all right? Now, the only season I'm gonna use is I have been boiling turkey necks, um, just kind of simmering on low, and I'm gonna use the stock from the boiled turkey neck. I'm just gonna add enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I don't want my collars to be soggy, but I want them to have this great turkey neck flavor. You can use ham hock, you can use bacon. I'm gonna use smoked turkey neck. Now, if I'm making the collards just by themselves, I'll take meat off the turkey neck and put it in here. But because the egg rolls will have um, barbecue in them, I'm not going to add an additional meat component. So I'm going to let the barbecue be the only meat in the egg roll. Okay. Now, some of you are going to say, ooh, I do just a sprinkle of sugar across the top and a shot of white vinegar. Okay. I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to put a top on it and let it simmer. Keep your eye on it. If the liquid boils out, then you add just a little more of your turkey stock. You can use chicken stock, not quite as flavorful. Um, and let that cook down until the greens are a darker green color. So I'm just going to put a top on it. And wait for that to cook. And then the last ingredient um, are candied carrots. Right? So they're, they kind of mimic candied yams. And they're very, very quick and easy to make. So I'm not going to actually show you. So you just take some shredded carrots and you can buy those in the bag. But what you're going to find out about me is that I am a kitchen gadget junkie. So I found this little shredder thing at TJ Maxx. And it actually made these beautiful shreds of carrots. Okay, So I use fresh carrots. Um, and you, But you can buy fresh carrots already shredded up. I'm just extra like that. So you take your shredded carrots and you put them in a pan. And you put, um, like you sprinkle brown sugar on the top, add a little butter, a tablespoon or two, 
and sprinkle a little cinnamon as if you were making candied yams. So the whole point of using carrots over yams is the texture. So you'll hear on cooking shows like to talk about the texture, the texture. You want your food to look good, taste good, and feel good in your mouth. So sometimes when you have too much of one consistency, like too much mushy, that's not good, too much crunchy. So those candied carrots give you the essence of candied yams, um, but they're candied carrots and they are amazing. You probably won't go back to candied yams after you make the candied carrots. All right, so easy process. I have braised my collards. I put them in the refrigerator to cool down. I like to work with cold ingredients with an egg roll and I like to make sure that everything is drained and dry. You don't need any sauce in your egg roll, um, but we'll make a sauce when the egg rolls are done, okay? So I'm gonna take, and I'll do this twice for you. I'm gonna take an egg roll wrapper and I'm gonna turn it kinda like a triangle. It's not gonna be a perfect triangle, okay? In the middle of the triangle, I'm gonna put a bed of braised collards. Now, I would advise like you make one and then fry it up and then see how you like it and then that way you'll know, mm, I don't like so much collars or I don't like that much carrot. Um, that's totally up to you. So, this is, I like to make a little tunnel. And then I'll put my carrots like right down the middle. I like the carrots, so I add extra. And then I'm gonna add my triangle turkey barbecue right down the middle of that. Now this is turkey, but it's got like a smoked flavor to it. And the, it's a very mild smoke flavor. It might have been just me. Um, but he's, he has the, the perfect balance of smoke in this turkey barbecue. Okay, so now I'm going to, you'll notice I'm tucking and rolling, okay? So I'm going to roll. And I have a bowl of just regular water. I'm going to put my fingers in it, and I'm going to wet the edges so I can seal that, all right? So, see that trying to come out? We're going to fold that in. Same thing for this side. We're going to fold it in like an envelope. Okay. Then I'm going to roll. And I'm going to tuck and fold. I'm going to roll. Just make sure that it's nice and wet so it will stick. And that's our first egg roll. And when I rest it, I'm going to rest it down on the seam so it will continue to stick. So that's our first one. Okay, so once again, egg roll wrapper in a triangle. We're going to do a bed of collards. And remember, you don't have to use my collards if you don't want to. But don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. All right. Then we're going to do a tunnel of carrots. You know, I'm going to add some extra. And then our triangle turkey barbecue. See, that's how you do a sponsorship. You keep saying the name over and over and over. Look at that turkey barbecue. Okay. All right, here's the roll again. Push in and roll. Okay. And then let's start folding it in. When you see it trying to run away, start folding it in. You don't want it to become unraveled in the fryer. So I'm just going to water the edges here. And we're going to roll. And we're going to rest it on the seam. Okay, so now we're ready to fry. I'm just going to use my itty bitty baby fryer. I'm actually going to try these in the air fryer, but not on camera because I've never done it. So I want to see how it turns out. So I'm going to put the egg rolls in the fryer, seam down. And I use peanut oil. Feel free to use vegetable oil. I use peanut oil. I think it gives you... Um, a crisper brown. Okay. So we're gonna let those cook. I've got some other stuff um, I, that we're gonna have with these for dinner. That's none of your business. Um, little devil eggs. I'm gonna pull this meat from the smoked turkey necks and put it in my leftover collards. That's none of your business. We're making the egg rolls. That's what we're gonna focus on here. So we're just gonna let that fry until it's brown. Keep in mind everything that's inside of it is already cooked. So you're not cooking it through. You're just browning the outside. Okay. All right. While we're waiting for the egg rolls to finish frying, every good egg roll needs a sauce. So this is a sauce that I make to go with the egg rolls. Now in this bowl, I have four spoonfuls, not necessarily a tablespoon, but like a regular spoon of orange marmalade. You can find it over by the jellies. So that's four spoonfuls of orange marmalade. 
So for every two spoonfuls, I'm going to put one spoonful of mustard. So since I have four um, spoonfuls, I'm going to do two spoonfuls of mustard. I am using a stone ground mustard. That's actually one of my favorites. So that's one. And then two. Okay. So the mustard kind of cuts the sweetness of the marmalade here. So I'm going to mix that together. And to loosen it up, because the marmalade is so thick, I'm just going to squeak just a little bit of lemon juice, like a slice of lemon juice. Okay. And we're going to mix it up. So that acidity will cut a little of the sweetness, kind of like a sweet and tangy. It's just yummy goodness. I can't explain it to you. Um, I've had some people ask, can, when am I going to start having a studio audience? So I'm actually thinking about it. Maybe a couple people at a time. So we'll see. We'll see how the state takes off. Y'all support me so good and I appreciate it. Okay. So now we're ready to get our egg rolls out. All right. Egg rolls are nice and brown. You'll see some dark spots and you'll say, oh, that's burned. It's not burned. It's just a call that's coming through the egg roll because the egg roll is not that thick. So this is what we have. I try and go turkey barbecue egg rolls. Now they're not done with the serrated knife. We're gonna just cut these at an angle. You get it crunch? It was a very good angle. But I want you to see, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Now, a friend of mine was joking me, and he says that I close my eyes before I even taste the food. So I'm going to try real hard to not close my eyes and roll them in the top of my head until after, and they are piping hot. Look at that right there. That And that triangle turkey barbecue is still moist. Yes, that is amazing. Okay. So there we have our soul food egg rolls with an orange marmalade dipping sauce right here. I want to give a special thank you again to Triangle Turkey Barbecue. I will have their contact information underneath the video. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. Time to eat.